Hello and welcome. <laughs> no, I just laughed. <laughs> God damn it, I keep laughing. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am your host, Vortex, from MobileMusicPro.com, your home for mobile music production. If you're new to the channel, what we do here is try to help out mobile music producers make professional sounding music as fast as possible. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to smash the likes and subscribe. You see, today's kind of a special episode because the app we'll be playing with today was created by our very first Patreon, Matt Miller. Now, this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that, but we did want to help out Matt a little bit by trying to get a few more eyeballs on his app. And as you'll see, it's pretty darn useful too. You see, a trick that many producers use today is actually using voice memo apps on their phone. It can end up being a really quick way to jot down some kind of idea like a lyric or a melody or anything that you don't really want to lose right away. Now, most phones do have some kind of native built-in voice memo app, but trust us, this one is way better. So without further ado, let's take a look at this app and start playing with Audio Bridge. The app that we'll be playing with today is Audio Bridge by Audio Bridge Inc. And this app is available for free. Audio Bridge can be the best way to take your song ideas to the next level. You can write the world's next hit song with its intuitive multi-track recording interface by layering harmonies or other musical parts on top of one another. You can also collaborate instantly with anyone in the world with its built-in tools such as the chat room and notepad. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at about this app is, of course, the user interface. As you can see, it is quite simple. This is what you're going to be presented with once you first open up the app and then go through their tutorial process. As you can see, it says there are no sessions available. Record something awesome today. So that is how everything is actually organized within the app is through sessions. And before we create one of those new sessions, we're just going to take a look around here. We can see that the bottom left hand corner will always take us back to this page, this home page that you see here this studio page. To the right of that, we have the login and sign up button, which we won't actually be using right now until we get to the collaboration part. So before we do show you the collaboration capabilities, we're going to continue with the user interface overview. We have the settings on the bottom right hand side, which will take you to the settings page where you can see the push notifications and you can replay the tutorial. In addition to that, you'll find the support information and contact information below. So let's head back to the studio. We'll click the studio icon on the bottom left hand side. And that is pretty much it until we start getting into these sessions. So let's go ahead and create our first session. We'll tap on the plus button on the top right hand side of the screen. That will bring us to our first session. As you can see, that is labeled session one by default. And you'll find the additional collaboration features here once you sign up and then log in. Below that, the most important button that you'll find here, of course, is the recording button. Other than that, there's just not much clutter in your way here, allowing your eyes plenty of room to find out what's important. So let's go ahead and tap the record button. We of course will have to give access to our microphone so that Audio Bridge can record what we want to say. So we'll click OK. And we'll say testing, testing, one, two, three. And we'll hit stop and click play. We'll be able to play that back. And we'll say testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, there you go. As you can see that played back right up here, this is the audio file. If you tap that, you can then click the edit button at the bottom of the screen. Or you can delete that audio file by clicking the delete button to the right of that. So we'll quickly delete that real quick. And now as you can see, that file has been deleted. You can always import your own audio files by clicking on the import button here where it says tap here to import an audio file. Once you tap that, it'll bring up your familiar files screen. So we'll click cancel out of that. Now let's quickly record in another test. Test, test, one, two, three. And play that back. Test, test, one, two, three. And there you go. And you can tap anywhere on the main screen to unselect your previously recorded file. And you can continue to just keep on recording more and more files, one after the other. Here's another test, test. test one, two, three. And by default, it will play back all the files at once. Here's another test, test. test, one, two, three. Since these are individual tracks, you can solo and mute them at any time by double tapping them. So if we double tap the first track, you can see that we are presented with the dialogue giving us the option to either click solo or mute. And then we can tap X to get out of that dialogue. 
This effectively allows this app to achieve multi-track recording, as each one of these audio files will be on their own track. So now let's go ahead and select one of these tracks and begin editing them by clicking on the edit button at the bottom right hand corner. And once you are now in this edit screen, you can begin making more fine tuned changes, even including simple mixing capabilities, like the ability to fade in or fade out a track and even adjust the panning. And of course you do have the option to adjust the volume for each individual track here. And you can even begin trimming your audio file by long tapping on the audio file here and selecting the section that you'd like to trim. Okay, we can trim that right there. We'll go ahead and click trim. And as you can see, it did remove the bits of the audio that was not in our selection. So very simple yet powerful editing capabilities in this multi-track recording app. Once you're happy with those changes, you can click save. If not, you can click cancel. But let's go ahead and click the cancel button now so that we can go back to our session. And now we're back in our session with all of our tracks. From this session screen, you can always go back to your main studio screen where you can view all of your sessions together by clicking on the back button in the top left hand corner. But let's return back to our session one for now. From here, we can continue to create more and more tracks by recording in our audio manually here or importing more files via the import function here. So to people who are not familiar with a traditional digital audio workstation or DAW, this can be a great introduction to multi-track recording, especially when you go back and look at the past and see what people have had to deal with in the 90s and 80s. Just recording multiple tracks of audio and playing it back used to be a pretty big deal. Now each of these tracks are contained within this session called Session 1. You'll also find a notepad in the top right hand corner that is unique to each session. So if we tap on that, we can see that this can be a place where you can easily jot down any type of notes that you have for this session. Once you're done, you can just click the back button. And now those notes are available at any time within this session. So now if we tap back to go back to our studio, you can see we still have just the one session here. You can always create more sessions at any time by clicking the plus button. However, after the first five sessions, you will have to either log in or sign up for free. If we click plus to add a new session and then go back, you can see that we now are presented with this dialog here that is asking us to log in or sign up for free. And once you're happy with your session, you can export that at any time by clicking on the share button here. However, in order to take advantage of this feature, you will have to sign up and log in for free. So let's go ahead and log in to our account now. All right, we have now logged in. And as you can see where you select your sessions at the top, there are now a couple of additional options, including my sessions, which is the ones that you create on your own, and then the invited sessions, which are sessions that you get invited to from somebody else. So if we go back to all, this will show all of your sessions, both your offline and online, which is to say the sessions that you created before you signed up and the sessions you created after you've signed up. Now we do have two sessions here, session one and session two. As you can see, session one is bright white and session two is a little bit more gray with a export icon. What this means is that this session two was created before I created my account. So it is technically offline and I have no ability to export this. Now, once you actually do sign up and log in, once you tap this, you will be presented with an additional option. So let's go ahead and tap that now. You can see the message pops up that says this session was created offline by proceeding this session will be uploaded to your account and you must be logged in to access it so we'll upload that now okay now this session has been uploaded and we are presented with a few additional options now that we are logged in but before we do that let's go ahead and go back and we can see that now both session one and session two are labeled with white text and the cloud icon has disappeared so now let's show the export option so let's go to session one so to do that, we click on the export button in the top right hand corner. Once we tap that, we are presented with the ability to export as a single audio file or as individual tracks. And that of course will be saved on your iPhone or iPad. And from there, you can email it to anybody you'd like. Now, since we are logged in, we do have a couple of additional options here at the top. The first one is the ability to add another collaborator into this session. And the second is to view the chat room for anybody to be able to send messages back and forth who is a part of this session. So we can test that now by just clicking test. And as you can see, our message was sent there. So we'll click the back button. And now we're going to invite somebody into this session. So to do that, you can do that in a couple different ways. You can go into the session here and then click on that add button at the top, or you can go back and click on contacts 
and browse through your contacts and select somebody from there to join in. So let's go back to our session. We'll click on Studio, go to Session 1, and let's tap that Add button at the top. From here, it will bring up your contact list where you can then select who you'd like to bring in as a collaborator. And we'll select Vortex from our list, which is my other account. It will invite the user to the session. Just take a couple seconds. And here we are. Vortex has been invited to session one. So from here, we can either send a chat message right away, invite another user, or return to our session. So let's go ahead and return to the session. And now we'll bring up Audio Bridge on our phone. And as we can see, we have a new session that we've been invited to. On the screen, you can see who you've been invited to and when you were invited. So this should show up in our invited session as well. So we'll tap invited and there it is. Of course, this is not in the my sessions, but it will be in the all, which includes both my sessions and invited. So let's go ahead and tap on our session one that we've been invited to. We'll tap on that. It will then download all the tracks in the session and be ready for you to click play and add to it any time. And it looks like we do have a new chat message waiting, so let's tap that. And of course that was our test message. And we can send a message back. And there you go. So we can record in something real quick to test. Testing from the iPhone. and that will show up on our iPad. Now if we look over to our iPad screen, we can see that we do have a new message here and a new track. So let's click on the message. There's our message. And then we'll click on the new track. Testing from the iPhone. And there you go. That's how easy it is to create new tracks in a session, whether you're doing this by yourself offline or online with a collaborator. All right, welcome back everybody. We really hope you enjoyed that quick overview of AudioBridge. As you can see, it really can be a quick and handy tool for jotting down musical ideas. And I'm sure you'll agree, it goes far beyond just a regular voice memo app, especially with its multi-track recording and mixing capabilities, and the added bonus of being able to collaborate with others. We're certainly looking forward to seeing what else this company has up their sleeves. Because in my brief dialogue so far with Matt, I can tell that he totally shares our enthusiasm for wanting to spread the word about mobile music production and show people just how easy it can be to start making professional sounding music on the iPhone and iPad. He is certainly on our list of people to interview in the coming months, so make sure that you are subscribed and stay tuned. So until next time, folks, keep talking music and we'll see you later.